um, about your relationship to Rauschenberg. How, what, what does Robert Rauschenberg mean to you? At the beginning of my career, he was quite very present. And, suddenly, and after 10 years, he disappeared a little bit of my uh, screen. But uh, he's still present. Yeah. What, what do you like about uh, Rauschenberg? Or why um, do you think um, do you think he is still relevant, for example, uh, for young artists? And uh, um, I think it's important to to to, uh, to put some uh, to, to to do some order now because he he, he produced so, so many pieces. There is a lot of a lot of work, and uh, I think uh, maybe it will be interesting now to uh, to try with the distance. And for example, there's a series uh, exhibited here, like the cardboard, for me is uh, an incredible series. I like it a lot. And uh, I think it would be very, very uh, interesting for young artists to look at it. And, uh, but I think it's, uh, yes, it's like an, an icon, Rauschenberg, maybe. And I don't know, it's important maybe now to to show different parts and to understand more uh, because uh, all the people know about this, you know, the combined paintings and the images and the pop art and uh, but you, when you look to the cardboard series for example and it's very good to combine because also it combines here uh, pop art and minimal and I like also this, you know and also it's so clever for to um, to take as 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 a subject the the, the box of the cardboard, you know, that is so clever because, and today I think it's very relevant because it's a very uh, close to the globalization, you know, what is a cardboard card box? It's a uh, mass production. There is a cardboard in box ev everywhere in in the world, and uh, and him decide to use to use it. And to split it and to put it in the wall in a very simple way. And uh, the material is incredible also because um, color is kind of beige, very monochromatic, and uh, the cardboard is really softness and fragile. And it's very uh, also close to uh, Arte Povera and things like that. And, uh, and it's so good in the art of assemblage with a very little intervention to take the box, just open the box in the wall. And it's not boring because with some sign, pop art signs, and also it's, there is a lot of austerity and freshness also. And, uh, and suddenly you have this piece, you don't know exactly which date. I like it's timeless because it's so beautiful. It's like, uh, and it's, you know, uh, really, uh, I think uh, I'm, I must say I'm much more interested by this kind of work than uh, this, for example. Yeah. I don't like when Rochenberg is too uh, too uh, mechanic, so too too much silk screen. I like when he takes something with kind of gesture, and all the, all this cardboard, he, he did them in captive, I know, and it was just with uh, uh, stuff he has around, 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 you know. And I like this because it's very avant-garde, and it's a kind of meeting with the avant-garde and the classicist because it's very classic in a way. And when you look at it, you look at it like if you are looking at a Renaissance painting or something like, something like, that, like that. And this is the, 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 the magic texture, how he do, the, he do it, and it's very simple, you know. The art of doing something very simple and so, so right. And suddenly the work becomes, it's not so provocative like he did maybe before with Combine, but it's beyond the provocation, you know? It's beyond, like, uh, the pieces he did and uh, to be well-known. So but I think these pieces are much more 
more uh, deep and uh, yeah. Right, I think it's, a, it's a, for example, if you put a, a, painting, a painting of Bob Reimann with uh, Rosenberg, and, and I think it's very, it's it's so close to painting, you know, uh, and uh, or, or Bryce Marden close to or. or um, for me, it's much more closer than Judd or, or sculpture. I think it's very linked with painting. And I think it would be also interesting maybe to, uh, to do a show of this mixed with painting. Yeah, you know? And uh, because suddenly the three-dimensional boxes open like this for the wall, flat like this, become a painting. Just, it's very, it's very, very well done. And the, and the color of the cardboard is incredible. And maybe the pieces are better now than, it, than there was before at the beginning when he did the piece. Big, big look. I think the cardboard is too new. Maybe it's too fresh. And now with the time, he has this kind of patine. Uh, yes, exactly. So it's a millésimé cardboard. <laughs>